Well, hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is Brother Wes, Prophet Wes. I greet you in the name of the Lord. Um, back again. Listen, for those who you don't know, join me in the morning every Wednesday, every Wednesday, 8.30 or 8.45 Eastern Time, where I will be releasing and giving a word of encouragement that will be food for your soul. And so tell your friends and tell everybody that um, every Wednesday at 8.45 a.m. a.m. Eastern Time, God will have a word. I will have a word in my mouth for those who need a word, for those who need God to meet them. Meet me in the morning. Uh, meet me in the morning. And I pray that God will say something that will be intricate and bless you and get you to hope again for those of you that are hopeless there is hope. God is hope. He's the great hope. He's the great hope. And hope is expectation. So uh, join me in the morning at, if you can, at 8.45 a.m. Eastern Time. If not, I will also upload a video here uh, on YouTube also as well as uh, Facebook and other places that, that I uh, minister. But today I want to release a prophetic word. I guess a prophetic word. I guess it's more of a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom and prophecy. And basically, I'm just going to talk about where we are and what God is doing and how God is doing it. And what I see is transformation. That's what's taking place. Transformation. God is transforming you, your mind. That some of you, your mind is, is under duress. And if you notice everything, it feels like you have so much pressure in your mind. It feels like uh, there's so much pressure that's pulling on your brain and it's difficult. Sometimes it's even hard to breathe. You, you have migraines all the time. And you take medicine, but still the pain is there. And a lot of it is just the pressure. The pressure of just what you're dealing with. The pressure of thinking. The pressure of dealing with everything you're dealing with. But I have an antidote and I have a, uh, uh, a insight on who can take away that pain. Who can take away that pressure. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. The Bible says, listen to this. The Bible says uh, in Romans 12, 1 and 2, it says, I beseech you, my brethren, by the mercy of God, to present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. But then the Bible says to be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And when I think of those, when I think of that, to be transformed, to be not conformed to the world. And when I think about the world, I think about the world lifestyle. I think about the world appetites because the Bible also says that love not the world. For those that love the world, the love of the Father is, is not in them. For all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. And, so, and those that inherit those things, the, the God is not in them. And so um, what I see is that a lot of times the reason why the pressure is so bad, the reason why things are so difficult, the reason why things are so bad in our life, even when we are fighting different things, some of those things that we fight, we created them or we conform to them because, say, for example, you got hurt and somebody did something to you, but instead of forgiving them, it turned to hate. And so the more you, you hold on to something, the more you become like it, the more you conform to it. Even with jealousy, people who are jealous of envy, the more you hold on to envy, the more you, be, you, will, you will conform or become the reflection of that very envy. This is why the Bible also says to... Um, uh, follow peace with all men, uh, lest a, a root of bitterness springing up in you, uh, whereby many be defiled. See, there are things in you once it's in you or once you have a certain conflict, it's so important to deal with it. See, because if not, you're going to conform to that very thing that hurt. There are so many people that have been hurt for many, many years, but because you haven't forgave or you hadn't let go of it, you still stuck. And matter of fact, that hurt, you've so conformed to that hurt, you've taken on this characteristic. And so every time you think about that situation or that people or that scenario, there's something in you that speaks. There's something in you that reacts a certain way. That means that you become conformed to that injury. You become conformed to that bitterness. You become conformed to that situation. See, but God wants to transform you. In other words, God wants to separate you from that. In other words, God wants to deliver you from that. And the way that he delivers you through that is through his word. The Bible says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. See, God wants to deliver you from that thing that's pressing your mind, 
That's thing that's tormenting your mind. That fear that's tormenting your mind. See, you need to realize that fear doesn't come from God. Because fear has torment. But God has given us power, love, and a sound mind. I'm about going to wrap this up right now. But I'm going to come back in the morning to kind of more take my time and more explain see but the reason why many many of you you're going through what you're going through is because you've conformed to the very thing that god told you to let go of that's ungodly soul tithe that frustration that fear because you kept on holding on to it you become conformed to it your mind has become uh, conformed to it your heart has become shaped to it uh your mannerisms have become shaped to it but god want to deliver you from that See, the Bible says that the anointing, you know what the anointing does? It removes burdens and destroys yokes. See, God want to remove your burden and he want to destroy your yoke. See, because God want to transform you. God, in other words, God want to get you to see as he sees. God want to get you to see the victory. God wants you to see who you belong to. God want to see the thought, you to see the authority that you walk in. And it takes faith, not fear. It doesn't go by what you see. See, the, the thing, what brings, what brings transformation, you must, you must learn how to transform from controlling things. Transform from trying to figure out things and try to do things yourself. But the moment that you say, God, I give it to you, take it, then that's when the transformation, transformation will happen. Because the Bible says, any man being Christ Jesus, he a new creature. Old things have passed away. <coughs> and behold, all things have become new. That's the transformation. And this is what <coughs> God is doing in this hour. God is transforming. The Bible said in the last days that he was going to send the spirit of Elijah. If he didn't, he would smite the earth with a curse. But the purpose of the spirit of Elijah is to turn hearts back. The sons back to the mothers, the mothers, the, the, the daughters back to the fathers. It's to restore the home. Restoration. That's the transformation. Restoration. To change the way you think. To change the way you deal with things. To change the way you process life. Even to change the way you even process yourself. That's going to come back in the morning at uh, 8.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Where we're going to be talking about transformation. God bless you. Have a good day.